In this training, we're going to talk about what are the best Facebook groups to join to meet prospects. And you can apply this to Instagram hashtags as well. Okay, so the best base, best Facebook groups to join are not business groups. Okay, I'll tell you why not business groups. Because when you know when you're meeting people online, it's you want to be natural. You want to like collect friends, right? That's what top leaders do, top networkers do. You want to collect friends. And business groups, it is difficult, more difficult to collect friends, have a natural relationship, a genuine relationship, because people all have an agenda, right? So think about it. I love uh, Bichon Frise. Like my dog, Obi, is a Bichon fluffy white dog. It's easy for me to go to a dog group. If I'm meeting someone there, it's a general relationship because I have something common interest. When I'm in a business group, every, why do people do a business group? Because they want to sell something. They want to pitch something, right? So they automatically... The, the relationship is not sincere and genuine. There's always an agenda behind that. So that's, it's not as natural. And especially if you're new, if you're a new distributor or you just got started or you feel like you haven't had Coca, have that much success, it may feel awkward and not natural to be in the business group. I know when I first started, uh, even going networking groups, right, to like a business meetup, uh, I was a distributor. First of all, I was in network marketing. My belief in network marketing was there. Second, I hadn't had much success. So being in a business group, to offering felt really awkward for me. But what's easy for me to meet people who've been in the gym, playing basketball at my church, because we'll talk about things that are not related to business, and I would easily become friends. I could talk basketball with them all day, right? Talk sports with them. And it was easy for me to expand my database like that. So one of the best groups to join online, it's, the, it's just like what I explained there, is your interest. What interest do you have, right? Do you have like a certain dog you like, certain cat you like? Do you, do you like certain hobbies? Do you like sports, right? Do you like the NBA? Do you like the NFL? Do you like rugby? Do you like cricket? What, do you like sewing? Do you like knitting? Join those groups uh, it is now why? Because a couple of reasons. Number one, it's way easier to connect with that person because you're not thinking about business and you have a common interest, right? So if I liked uh, basketball, it's really easy for me to talk a long time about hoops. Uh, especially when I first started, I didn't know I, I wasn't, I couldn't talk about business for a long time, but I could talk about my interest. Uh, and it's really easy to connect with people. Second reason is there's a thing called commonality. People join people they know, like, and trust, right? And they get, and people like things that are people in common, right? We bond together. And when we are, for example, if you have a travel and uh, you find people are from the same country as you are, we know actually, oh, that guy's cooler. We bond together because we have something in common. Another example is, uh, you know, you could be strangers, but if you like the same sports team and you're watching a game at a bar or the pub, you automatically bond together. People like people who have something in common. So if you're joining someone in an interest group, immediately there's a, you know, feeling, a, a, what we call affinity, or like a certain liking towards you because you have a common interest. Okay, that's, we all like people in common. Something, right? If you just say a whole bunch of strangers and you see something that also likes what you like, you naturally go to talk. It's easy to strike that conversation. So it's much easier to make friends. Another, um, the last thing is, out goes networkers, as I mentioned before. You want to collect friends. Meet as many friends as possible. So even if they don't join you, most of the people are not going to join you. Even if they join you, so what? You collect the friends, right? So if, if I like love basketball and uh, even they don't join, I think it's cool. They don't become customer. It's awesome because I have someone in my network that I can share with and I enjoy talking to the person. A good example is right now, you know, I'm really into a little league baseball, my sons, right? So even if someone doesn't become a customer, doesn't do anything, but I think it's cool because that person isn't something I could talk forever about little league baseball. Uh, and that person actually, by the way, can provide value in other parts of my life, like how to coach better, what are the better leagues, what are the travel teams, the club teams to join, provide lots of value. So I don't mind. Like the person is not interested in business because there's something in common that will come interest. And by the way, remember, there's never a bad prospect, just the wrong time for the right prospect. And all network top leaders know this. They want to expand the database and get you know, more and more and more people consistently provide value. And sooner or later, that person will either join or give a referral or lead you somewhere that will uh, yeah, become a customer or a, or a, a rep for your company, okay, for your business. So 
There, those are three reasons. You know, join groups that uh, you have some common interests. It's easier. It's easy to connect the commonality, and also it's easy to collect friends. A uh, last thing I want to share my personal opinion. I don't like to join groups where other network marketers are, and with the goal, if you're in a network marketing group, your goal should be to provide value. Shouldn't be over the. And the more you give, the more it comes around. That's like karma. Okay, you shouldn't be going there because I'm going to provide value, hoping these people would quit their company to join my my deal, my business. By the way, that's a total. It's just that's just a vulture type of mentality. I don't like it. Is not the law of abundance. Okay. Uh, number two is if they quit easily from their business to join your business, they they can just easily quit when the next great deal comes in. They'll quit your business to join someone else's business. You know, there's tons of plenty for everyone. You know, most if you look at your business, I'm I'm I guarantee most of the people are in your organization. Or not, or the people in your team, cross line, never did network marketing before. Probably fifty percent. This is the first op, first time. So there's plenty for everyone. And again, if you go into a networking group to do that, you're being a vulture. It also, it's, it's not natural to, especially if you're new. You feel like you gotta do that. Uh, does it work out? Okay. We, we want to lift up the profession, introduce network marketing to more people, not to the existing same people who are quitting, jumping, bouncing around. But anyway, that's my uh, advice on that, jo- and my opinion on that. But join groups that have common interests. Those are the easiest way you can connect with a person, commonality, and also easy to collect. Even if they don't join, your life is enhanced already because you have collected friends. And remember, the more friends you have, the better. Collect friends, and there's never a bad prospect, just the wrong time for the right prospect.